Hey guys, in this video today we'll be installing the Apeman C550 dashboard camera. It does have two cameras, one in the front and one in the back. You have to wire the second camera all the way through. But these are the features on the box, we'll get into it as we unbox it. These are all the different things that come in the box. We have the rear view camera with the very long wire, the sticky pad for the windshield, USB cable for the computer, and charging type plug. Over here is a trim removal tool, a 32 gig SD card, the camera itself, and then a couple manuals there at the top. The camera itself only has five buttons, which makes it very easy to use. It does have a small screen as well to see which direction you're facing the camera. And the camera has the ability to tilt depending on the angle it's set at your windshield. So today we'll be installing this camera in my Maserati Ghibli. I'm gonna need to mount this on the windshield and first have to find a perfect place for it right about there. I want it to be tucked out of the way just so when I'm driving, I shouldn't be able to see this camera. I'm thinking right about here might be a good place. Next, we'll take this SD card and put it in the slot. We'll also power it on with this cable just to make sure that everything is working as it should. All right, so once it gets power, it immediately starts recording and that's a pretty good sign. So now it's ready and working. You're able to plug the rear camera up top there as well. I'm not gonna mount that yet, but I probably will later. Now the screen turns itself off, but the LED for recording still goes on. That's good. First, we have to figure out how does the sticky pad rest on this here? So we'll stick it in there and it does have a notch upward, so it does hang on it like this. So with a sticky pad on the back of the camera, I put the camera back on the windshield to see about where the sticky pad were to sit. Mark that area and then place the sticky pad on there. Okay, so now if I'm sitting back here, typically I have my visor folded down. I will not be able to see this camera and that's exactly how I want it. And as for the wiring, much of this can be pushed up into the headliner here. Typically, you might need to have some clips as well, so it doesn't come down and fall on you. The route that I've chosen to take is up here, over here. I went through this, so you can still see the wires exposed. I will tuck it in properly. And then I tucked the wire down this weather stripping all the way down the door, went through this panel. And at this point, I have everything hidden from the camera, through the headliner, through this pillar over here, down the weather stripping, down the driver's side footwell, and then into the 12 volt DC socket, which is next to the shifter. I might wire this directly to the 12 volt battery or into the fuse box, but that's a project for a later date. So now if we start up the car, this should start up as well. And we should be able to see it recording. And now it's recording, everything is all good, and I think that's it, we're all good to go. And after driving for a while, I wanted to show you what the footage looks like. It's all in the QuickTime movie format, and about 390 megabytes per file. This is a sample file, just wanted to play it. It's just me driving around Carrollton, Texas. And this is a street sign that I just drove by, so you're able to see that I'm on Hamilton and Hebron Parkway. And here's another test to show street signs as well. So it does record them properly. I noticed that license plates are hit or miss on this camera. For this one, you can barely read the plate. But in other instances like this, the plate is perfectly legible. So I don't know what it is about it, but just want to let you guys know that. Other than that, hope you guys liked the video. Please drop a like if it helps you out, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you in the next video. That's the review of my Ape Man Dash camera. Thank you very much and goodbye.